The police spokesperson has said that over 60 people were arrested on Sunday over various offences connected to the march at Nambole. Kawesi said most of those apprehended had been involved in pickpocketing and other petty cases, but noted there were no other big incidents during and after the march. The plus were arrested yesterday. They will be arraigned in four court either today, I think today, because the, the offences will be simple to prove. A total of three people lost their lives when they were knocked down by speeding vehicles driven by Crane's fans celebrating the historic triumph of the national team. The dead have been identified as Namalo Teddy, a 13-year-old, and Namialo Esther, a 17-year-old, knocked along Gaza Road in Kalere, and Isma Kanubi, who was knocked along the Northern Bypass. Uh, a vehicle yet to be identified knocked two people dead. Uh, they were all younger ladies, one is 17, another one is 13 years. They were both knocked at Karewe as they were crossing. Uh, the 13-year-old girl died at the spot and the 17 died upon reaching the Labo Hospital. We are looking for the reckless driver. We hope we will get him. The police is also lamenting the tendency to issue more tickets that Namboli Stadium can accommodate, saying it's to blame for the scuffles that ensued with ticket-bearing fans being denied access to the pavilions. I don't want to tell the reason why they sell, uh, they sell uh, excess tickets. I don't know. But what is known to all of us is that the, uh, the tickets are more than the capacity the stadium can hold. And we have been warned that the stadium can only accommodate 45,000. Unless we want a national uh, disaster to, to, to happen. Kawesi also informed journalists that the police has launched investigations into an ambush on a Kampala-bound bus in South Sudan yesterday. There could be like three people who are not yet accounted for the conductor, the driver, and one other person. Because four who are taken to South Sudan, to Juba, one who has passed on. Then there are those three that cross to Uganda. So three people are not yet accounted for. That comes to level. Because they were, they were, they were, yes, four, 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 four. you're right. Four not accounted. Farouk Mia's 34th minute goal broke the 38 year jinx and saw Uganda sail through to the next finals. The Africa Cup of Nations is the continent's premier football showpiece, bringing together the finest players, most of who ply their trade in famous European leagues that are keenly followed by Ugandans across the country.